All right. So at this point in my journey, nothing is more important to me than that I realize that I am the power of God. I am the I I am an individualized expression of God. Um, what could be more important than that? What else matters? In my opinion, like nothing. And uh, so to do that, I'm using affirmation and stuff and uh, working on changing my consciousness, right? Changing my belief system. So all my life I've come from this idea that I'm separate from, ev- from everything and all the masters teach us that we're unified with everything. And um, the you know, God consciousness teachings say there's only one presence, there's only one power, and that power has individualized itself as you. The totality of the power is you. So I'm the totality of the power. I'm the heart of God. I am the fullness of God manifested as the human being. That is like the most insane thing I could ever imagine. And I think, I feel, it seems logical to assume that If that's true, then um, I'm unlimited, and I can do anything, and I have the power to change every circumstance in my life, and all I have to do is become aware that I am the power, and my whole life will change, and everything will be peaceful, you know? I mean, I don't know about being better, like, you know, you'll have all the money you want, you'll have the car you want, or whatever, like, those things seem kind of irrelevant in the awareness of, oh, I'm God manifested as a human. You know, if you are the one power that exists everywhere, you're everything. Like, you are all your desires fulfilled. You are all the stuff in the universe. So having those things is, like, completely irrelevant to the being of the fullness. And I want to be the fullness. I want to know myself as the fullness so that I get to have peace 100% of the time, so that I'm not affected by the world around me, so that I have infinite compassion and instant forgiveness with everyone that's out there, everything that's happening in my environment. I'm not affected by anything that could come into my field, into my world, Um, just living in a state of consistent peace, you know, what could be more, what what could be more worth striving for than that, my personal opinion, so for me, that's what I want more than anything, and so I'm not really using affirmation so much in the way of, you know, like, I am a millionaire, like, I am having all the stuff that I want, it's so much more like, I, all right, here, here's the affirmation that I've been running, Um, I am the living light. I am the presence of God, I am. I am the open door that never closes. (laughs) Uh, I am here, I am there. I am the only presence everywhere. I am the resurrection and the life. So that line of affirmation comes from St. Germain, and St. Germain's got a bunch of channeled books out there. What I'm on right now is this really little book that's like The Teachings of the Ascended Masters, I think it's called. There's a picture of St. Germain on the cover. It's like kind of bluish, white picture of St. Germain, Teachings of the Ascended Masters. Pretty epic, really tiny. You could probably buy it on the Amazon for like a penny. You know, they got those out there. Um... And uh, it's, a, it's a bunch of different channelings. Um, I think from like 1997 or something, they channeled this stuff. And, and uh, St. Germain's got a bunch of stuff. And Jesus is in there. And like Quan Yin. And, you know, all these different ascended masters all have their say in the whole process. And um, I really, really like that, that line of thinking. And uh, St. Germain's telling us that that's the affirmation he would suggest people who want to ascend use. And I'm like, Psh, I'm down with ascension. I'm, I'm down to get off of this ride of birth and death and get on with being the Christ presence, being the unconditional love of God manifested as a human being. I feel that being an ascended master or like getting to the ascended state uh, is about embodying the fact that you're God manifested as a human. And then uh, all the peace and joy and love that comes with that is sort of the reason why, you know, I want to live in peace all the time, I want to not be affected by my environment, so I figure, I feel, and they tell us, and I believe that it's true, that if I keep running this line of thinking all day, every day, every morning when I wake up, every night before I go to bed, during my meditation, as much as possible throughout the day in my life, then eventually it's got to, like, take root, because Abraham says that a thought, a belief is just a thought that you keep thinking, Um, And Abraham also says, if you knew the power that walks with you every moment of your eternal life, 
it would be impossible for you to ever feel fear or doubt about anything ever again. And what could be more amazing than that? Unable to feel fear or doubt about anything ever again? So I don't have to ever feel fear or doubt about anything ever again? What do I got to do to get that? What do I have to do to not ever feel fear or doubt about anything ever again? Well, they say you have to understand the power that walks with you. They put it simply. If you knew the power that walks with you, the power that walks with you in every moment of your eternal life. So right now, the power is walking with me. In every moment when I'm feeling fear or doubt, the power is with me. What am I feeling fear or doubt about? The power is with me. And so because that's true, what do I got to do to connect with it? What do I got to do to see and feel that power with me? Well, I am the living light. I am the presence of God. I am. I am the open door that never closes. I'm here. I'm there. I am the only power everywhere. I'm the only power everywhere. I'm the resurrection and the life. I don't quite understand the I'm the resurrection and the life part, but St. Germain says that that's like the main thing. That's what Jesus was running in his head all the time that got him to, to the point where he was able to resurrect from being crucified or something. I don't know if the story is the way that they tell us. Book's been manipulated throughout the centuries, but uh, um, I believe the ascended masters, you know? I, even though I don't quite fully understand the details of what I am the resurrection and the life mean for me as this individual person, John, and this body walking through this world, um, I want to understand. And I'm going to keep running that line of thinking in the meantime while I'm searching for experiencing the understanding, you know? Because St. Germain says, like, uh, if you really understand what that means, then it will click for you. You know, if you can say that, understanding what it means, it will be one of the most powerful affirmations you will ever use. So I want to understand what it means. I'll keep running it in the meantime, and we'll figure it out eventually, I'm sure. But, uh, okay, so that was a lot. If you don't know about Abraham, type it into the YouTube, Abraham-Hicks, and get lost in that for a while. They got it going on. They're amazing. The power that walks with you in every moment. Never feel fear or doubt again. So sick. Uh, and then St. Germain, look that stuff up. St. Germain's a crazy character, dude. St. Germain's got some rad history. There's some documentaries posted on the YouTube about him. Watch them. They're rad. They're super rad. Um...